Do you snore? Do I what? Snore. Snoring is annoying. Though I kind of think snoring is funny too. Not really. Most people who snore have something called sleep apnea, which means they stop breathing many times during the night waking up slightly, and don't get enough sleep, causing all kinds of serious problems. Seriously? Seriously. Lately there's a tremendous amount of concern in the news about so many people being tired and fatigued during the day. I hate being tired. I hate it. When I'm tired, I don't get as much done. I get cranky. I have less drive to accomplish things. Did I mention cranky? Also unmotivated. I cannot be funny when I am cranky. Yes, that is bad enough, but it can be more serious than that. There are news stories like the bus driver falling asleep and wrapping his bus around a power pole, killing himself and other people. That's terrible. Some believe that drivers falling asleep in cars may cause more accidents than those driving drunk. I hadn't thought of that. So, for some people, this tiredness problem is called sleep apnea. It is estimated that 18 million people in the United States may have the sleep disorder. 18 million? Are you kidding me? I am not. It's potentially a serious ailment that can also cause medical problems like high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, poor concentration, irritability, weakened immune system, and memory loss. How does sleep apnea happen? The most common form happens when the throat muscles relax during sleep and cause the airway to be blocked, often by the tongue. Your breathing temporarily stops. Yikes. Breathing stops. That can't be good. It's not. It causes oxygen levels to lower in the blood, the brain detects this decrease and reopens the airway and you will continue breathing again. The gap in breathing is very brief and you never fully wake up, so you don't even know it's happening. I wonder if I have it. When I'm tired, I just reach for coffee or a Red Bull energy drink in the afternoon. That isn't healthy and doesn't solve the real problem. Besides, sleep apnea causes other issues, like increasing the risk of dying from heart attack during sleep by 30%. Not good at all. So how do you know if you have it? Most people don't. People may think they got a full night's sleep, but are still very tired. That's because they really only got a couple of hours of quality sleep. Their sleep is constantly interrupted so they don't get the deep sleep they really need. It's believed, some people stop breathing, 20 to 30 times an hour. Yikes. So how does anyone know they have it? Sleep apnea is most common with people who also snore, and often with people who are very overweight. Frequently, your sleeping partner may notice your breathing stop during the night, or at least notice the snoring. Once you suspect, you can get tested for it. If you do have sleep apnea, can anything be done? Yes. One common treatment for sleep apnea is a CPAP device. The patient actually wears an oxygen mask while sleeping that connects to a machine. This machine pushes an air to keep the airway open. And it works. Yes but no. Yes but no? How is it yes and no? Yes, the CPAP is very effective. But... Three quarters of patients stop using it because it is so uncomfortable, and because you need to sleep in one position on your back for it to be effective. So yes it works. But most people stop using it. Is there anything else that helps? Yes, dentists can also treat sleep apnea. They make the patient a simple dental appliance to wear. Like a retainer you get after braces? Similar, or like a mouthpiece you wear for sports. It actually pushes the lower jaw and tongue slightly forward to keep the airway open while you sleep. It's much more comfortable to wear. So a person will actually use it. Some doctors think that it is not quite as effective as the CPAP, but in reality, this dental device can help more people who are suffering from sleep apnea because it is more comfortable to use and therefore more patients will use it. Thank goodness for a dentist. That's what I always tell my patients. An ounce of prevention is a pound of cure. Visit your dentist today and get your dental checkup. You will feel better. And look better.